so often when I get the boat out it'll be just laid out like this and uh, I'll go off and uh, and stash my, the vehicle in the trailer so if you guys can help me out in setting this up it would be really handy so uh, first thing we do is we bring out the pontoon so get that bung that's the go and then we bring these out until they're parallel okay second step we get there's a little crossbar here at the back we, this comes off press this push it in push it down on the button and releases and that locks for the push we bring it back we push the end in and then it goes over that button and locks on okay that's the ackers locked on now we'll put the uh the, the bungees on these are what hold us on these are custom ones that i made so you just grab the uh cable tie there you give it a pull and you hook it over the button won't go to the top one that's it and then just pull that out of the way so it's not sitting there okay let's see how you go with this one it you just got to go for a hook get one end over and then hook it around that's it one and get the get this out of the way this will get in the way that's it the other one cool and the other one okay next thing we do is put the mast on so mast is really simple you pick it up the base of it's down that end and you drop it straight into that hole the mast doesn't weigh much, it's made of carbon fibre. Yep, she's very light. Make sure that rope doesn't get sandwiched in between. There we go. Done, and that should be locked and you shouldn't be able to lift it out. Beautiful. Okay. So this is the furling line. What we want is this furling line to be fed through this cleat. So it just goes through here like this. And then we run her out so she's loose. Back her off about half a turn. Okay, we take these off. So the mirage drives are loose. They're just stowage. water bottle um, and the paddle just goes here like oh, so uh, so it's out of the way <laughs> okay so the boat is now pretty much ready to go so cockpit controls and cockpit operation the boat's pretty simple okay you got um, your rudder controls so this is rudder up and rudder down don't worry about these I'll be I'll be doing all of that okay that's your rudder control there that lever so this is the rudder control just sits to the left of the seat here very simple push it left to turn the boat left push it to the right to turn the boat right and neutralize it to move straight ahead it does tend to sit um, wherever you put it which is really handy because it gives you opportunity to go hands off use both your hands for something else and then go back to the rudder yeah very nice simple easy control to use the dagger board slash center board slash kill control is only accessible from the front cockpit it's just a black knob next to the operator you lift it pull it back and that drops it down this is your mirage drive once we're in deep enough water you drop this into position when you're putting the mirage drive in the front has this circular drum on it and it's missing from the back so it's an easy way so that faces forward and that's the rear so here's our mirage drive drum facing forward you can see these two clips on either side of the well we need to put the mirage drive in nice and square otherwise it doesn't go in and it has to be flat pedals together push her down and she locks in these little handles move forward 
Now that's in the locked position. Got to make sure she's locked and then you can pedal away. When you go to take her out, you got to flip these back, that side and the other. Make sure the pedals are together and it lifts straight out like that. Make sure you pull the Mirage Drive out before we get close to shore. You can adjust the foot pedals. Oh, sweet. There you go. So you just push this in and set your setting. We'll go see us. How does that feel? That's six. Go five. So we're just the foot pedal position. Just squeeze the handle and then move it to the right spot. How's that? There are two fins that stick below the boat and they oscillate as you pedal, which produces thrust. So yeah, your Mirage Drive is used to increase the speed of the boat or to create speed when you're not moving. It's great for a workout and it's surprising how much speed you can actually get out of them. Because the fins stick below the boat, you've got to be careful with clearance. If they hit the bottom, they'll bend. What you can do is simply push one pedal forward and they'll sit up flush against the hull. So if you're concerned at all about the depth, Push one pedal forward and you'll have plenty of clearance. Sail controls. These are the cleats of the boat. Uh, they just sit off to the right of the mast. The inside cleat is for the furling line and furling line runs through there. And then the outside one with the black rope is the main sheet. So the furling line reels the sail in. So if you want to reduce its size, you pull on the furling line. If you want to pull the sail out or, or trim it, you use the main sheet, which is this one here. Um, cleats are really simple to use. If the rope is sitting in the top section of the cleat, it's loose, so it'll be able to slide in or out easily. If you want to lock the rope, you pull and drop it down, and these jaws, hopefully you can see them there, grab the rope so it won't pull through, and that way it's locked. So that's cleated. If you want to uncleat it, lift it up, pops out, and it's uncleated. When the rope's under tension, it may take a fair bit of effort to uncleat it. So it's cleated, uncleated, cleated, uncleated. So that's probably clear as mud, but uh, you'll figure it out once you're out on the boat. Um, next video will be how to sail.